In this video, we are exploring portfolio vision and portfolio roadmap. Basically, I am focusing on seeing the relationship between the portfolio vision, strategic theme, portfolio roadmap, solution roadmap, Apex, portfolio Kanban, and other things like participative budgeting. So it's more about looking at the flow. Uh, in my knowledge, I'm not sure if there is any document or content which explains this whole relationship the way we are trying to explore here. Definitely, it's my perception. There could be a, a multiple uh, interpretation of this particular flow, but this interpretation uh, is, is helping many of our clients, and I feel that it will be useful for you as well. So let's see what we have on our whiteboard. So the whole idea, as we learned about in our previous video about a portfolio, is portfolio is a collection of solutions, their, their value streams, their stakeholders, and all those things which are feeding and maintaining at that particular uh, a work. Yeah. So a collection of solutions. So we can say we have a safe portfolio for a system called loan. We were taking ex example of a bank. There could be other portfolios like retail banking, credit card, and they will have their own uh, 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 details. Yeah. So they will, they will have their own details. Now, periodically, organization go through their strategic review process, which generates future direction. And we are using the term strategic theme for it. So it's like this. Say we maybe annually or every six months, organization look at their business and think of what we want to do in order to achieve our strategic objective based on the competition, based on the market opportunities, based on the mission the organization is, 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 is working on, and based on their current strengths and, and opportunities, weakness, whatever factor they want to consider, they come up with a strategical direction. Now, these strategic directions, in safe word, uh, we are using a term called strategic theme for it, and these directions are communicated to the various safe portfolios. So we can say that, okay, that meeting, strategic review meeting has happened, or there was a process which might have lasted for a week. And after that process is over, those themes got communicated to various safe portfolios. Now, these portfolios need to align their business or their execution in order to achieve those strategies. So say a, a particular bank may decide that we want to focus on self-service. We want to reduce the number of customers visiting bank or number of customer uh, are, uh, calling us on call center or, 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 or taking other kind of help desk uh, support. So we want to focus on that maximum work can be done with the help of self-service. So we should have a tool so that the users can do their own job on their own. So that could be a theme. Now this theme will impact the loan uh, collections of solutions as well, the retail banking collection of solutions as well, and credit card uh, bank uh, uh, solutions as well. There could be a theme related to automation. There could be a theme related to utilizing artificial intelligence and machine learning. So it could be uh, uh, based on what the business is, is working on. So assuming the strategic theme arrived and the, lean, uh, uh, the safe portfolio of loan is looking at how do we work with it? What do we do? How do we align ourselves? How do we make that strategy realize? Yeah, because that's the whole objective of connecting strategy with execution. That's why we have a lean portfolio uh, in the case of, of SAFE. So after getting that information, the, the, the portfolio is expected to look at their current state, where there are current uh, set of agile release trains, set of, of uh, um, uh, solutions. They, uh, some of set of solutions might be under development, some of them may be at exploratory stage, some of them might be at a retiring stage, So, but they have a set of solutions which are maintained by, by the group. Now, looking at that, they may do their own strength, weakness, opportunity, threat analysis. They try to realize, okay, based on our skills, uh, partners, set of solutions we have in hand, uh, what can we do? How can we probably help us in achieving, how, how can we probably help the organization in achieving their strategic objective? Now, that, cons that, that brainstorming, that review session, which might happen in the LPM stakeholder, comes up with a portfolio vision. So it's like this. We can say that it is more like a, a some level of abstraction is, is there in, in, in portfolio vision, which is primarily focusing on that, okay, future state, a direction for the future state. We, we still don't know how are we going to achieve it, but based on what we have in hand, 
based on what our organization wants to do, this is something we want to achieve in next one or two or three years. So we come up with a portfolio vision, the Lean Portfolio Management Group, working with portfolio level stakeholders, may do some kind of meetings, brainstorming sessions, come up with a portfolio a vision. Now this portfolio vision impacts the solution visions, which are under this particular portfolio. So what does it mean? So you may have some ongoing solutions where the vision need to be adjusted, their direction, the work they are doing needs to be adjusted because now we are looking for a particular strategy or based on a new uh, information on a strategy, we may generate new solutions. So there could be a new initiative which were not in place as of now, but they have those solutions need to be developed. So we may have an addition of, of a solution with their solution vision. We may have an adjustment of, of ongoing solutions which are there in our portfolio. So those portfolio vision impacts influences my solution vision. Now solution level, for the, at least for the ongoing solution, I might already have a solution roadmap. Yeah. So solution roadmap is, is, is a representation where we are showing in upcoming one or two years time, how different, different uh, uh, large initiatives or initiatives we will take in order to achieve the solution vision. So we can say the solution vision is demonstrated with the help of epics and milestones and, and whatever solutions are ongoing, we have those, those roadmaps. But based on these visions and the new strategic theme, there could be an adjustment in those solution roadmap. Maybe few initiatives get dropped, few initiatives get added. And for the new solution, there is a new solution roadmap. So we can say that the, the, the solution level, the lean portfolio, along with working with the solution and agile release train level stakeholder, they need to adjust the solution vision as per our strategic theme. Now that solution vision adjustment leads to adjustment into a solution roadmap. And once we have this understanding and updated solution roadmap, it will update the portfolio roadmap. So you can say the portfolio roadmap can be considered as overall portfolio direction towards, uh, 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 say approach towards achieving the portfolio vision. So we need to achieve a portfolio vision by doing strategic initi initiatives. And those initiatives will be strengthening or developing new solutions. And that's why they are well explained under the solution roadmap. And as an aggregation of those solution roadmap at a portfolio level, against the timeline, against the milestones, we can prepare a portfolio roadmap. So we can say a portfolio roadmap is showing how the portfolio vision will get realized over a period of, of time. Now, it may look straightforward, but there is the solution roadmap also get influenced by budget. So when you have 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 an idea that okay, if we want to do this particular roadmap, do we have an agreement on funding that particular roadmap? Yeah. So before we can have a fair understanding of this is how we are are going to invest in new initiative or update the old initiative, there has to be some amount of discussion on budgeting space. So. Solution roadmap is closely linked with how the portfolio and the stakeholders are thinking of funding upcoming solutions. You know, I can create my roadmap and when there is no budget for it, then that roadmap is, is no more uh, uh, relevant. So the vision impacts the, the roadmap and there is a interactive relationship between budget because based on the budget, the roadmap may get changed and uh, later on, it may also impact my portfolio. A roadmap. So if I summarize, we started with the strategic theme, we picked up the portfolio vision, we in the, the lean portfolio management group influenced that, uh, put that particular portfolio vision in, in place so that solution vision can get adjusted. The solution came up with a, with a solution roadmap. Then there is a participative budgeting and, and the budgeting results into either finding that roadmap relevant or finding too much into it. So the roadmap may get updated. And there is an interaction because of roadmap, the budget may get adjusted because of a budget, solution roadmap may get adjusted. And once we have a stable state of a roadmap, we also update the portfolio roadmap. Yeah. Now, this is something which is happening all the time. This is not a one-time activity, it's a periodic activity. You can say the participative budgeting might be happening every six months as, as, a, as, a, as an example. And whenever the participative budgeting is happening, we are updating the solution roadmaps and the portfolio roadmap. So what is a participative budgeting? You can say 
uh, the lean portfolio management along with the key stakeholders might be coming from from the, the program level places, solution level groups, they come together and look at the amount of money available, the things which they have to do and figuring out how do we allocate money to a different, different initiative? How do we allocate our resources to different, different possible alternatives? So that's a participatory budgeting process. And as you see, that impacts the roadmap because when you are not allocating money, the roadmap is getting impacted or getting delayed. And that's how it impacts the overall portfolio roadmap as well. Now, this budgeting, we, the final realization of these roadmaps as well as portfolio roadmap ultimately happens with the help of epics. So a large initiatives yeah, get visualized in a portfolio Kanban system where we look at various epics, we evaluate them, and ultimately we decide, are we going to work on them? or want to drop that idea because we don't have necessary funding uh, uh, for that particular initiative. And the execution of those epics or the implementation of those epics happens through a program increment. And, and that is also a particular, we do visualize which epics are getting into implementations and finally they get done as well. So as, as we are learning from program increments, the feedback is again coming back. Yeah, and feedback is, so, so we can say, based on what is happening in the execution, we periodically look at our roadmap and participative budgeting, and that might again impact my portfolio level roadmap as well, because we need to always consider the latest informations which are available in the, in the market, in the environment. So this is how you can say that these roadmaps are not static, yeah, these visions, are usually at a very high level. So you can consider there could be adjustment in the vision also, but since they are at a high level, there, there is a less possibility of, of, of that much drastic change in the vision. But these roadmaps get adjusted, updated, as we have a new strategy, as we have a participatory budgeting happening because our funding and roadmap directions are closely interlinked. Now, I do encourage you to check more details about the terms like portfolio vision and and portfolio roadmap by visiting scaledagileframework.com because that's the, the comprehensive resource you can use for learning scaled agile framework.